We're going to look at precision now in calculators. I have the Desmo Scientific Calculator on the right, and I have Excel open on the left. And they're both in radian mode. That was covered in a previous video. Desmo, so when I compute sine pi, I get zero. That's what I was expecting. Over here in Excel, first of all, I did sine of this pi right here is only 10 decimal places. And if you notice, every answer over in Desmos was 10 or less decimal places of precision. There was no 15, 20 decimal places of precision. So over here in Excel, when I hit enter, it looks a little strange. I'm going to copy and paste the just the value here. And I realize this is pretty small. Oh, it's not, not really what I wanted. All right, I'll just type it in. Although I think they're going to round this. All right, we'll just deal with it on the screen. There's zero followed by d decimal point nine more zeros. So right here, all these zeros occupy 10 decimal places of accuracy. And afterwards, you have some other values. And so this number is not zero. It's a little bit in this case, negative. It's a tiny bit smaller than zero. But I want to emphasize it's a tiny, tiny bit smaller than zero. So it's very close to zero. And the fact that when I computed it, I only used 10 places of accuracy actually made a difference. There is default accuracy in computations. And depending if it's using floating points or doubles or arbitrary precision, you're going to get different values and you want to be careful that when you look at such a high level of precision in this case what's on the screen it looks like 10 decimal places is the maximum precision these calculators are really good for once you start to get into 11 12 or whatever this is 18 20 decimal places here the precision uh, you're going to get values that seem off so you really don't want to pay too much attention to the decimal digits after the ninth or 10th decimal digit. And keep this in mind as in the next video, we're gonna compute some limits by choosing X values close to the limit value. And we're gonna get close, but when we go past five, six, seven decimal places of closeness, things are gonna look a little bit funky. So just keep that in mind as we get a little bit of uh, estimation error. Now, if you're wondering how, how is sine and cosine computed, they're computed off power series, which you will see, I believe, in Calculus 3 that's normally covered. But they're computed, computed using a power series or Taylor series or Maclaurin series. But it's an estimation based on a polynomial 